the moment, um, Marrow's actually having to take six tablets a day, and then he had to stay in the special doggy hospital for about five days. So as you can see, he's been totally shaven, like up his back. channel this seems super weird because i've already done this intro today like a couple of times because i'm literally trying to record three videos in one day um but yeah so today i thought i would tell you what's going on with mario most of you guys follow me on instagram if you don't i'll link it down below and it's also here on the screen um but uh, mario had to go in for a serious operation he's finally back home i'm just trying to make him some like chicken excuse that that went a little bit burnt but i want it to be quite dry because i wanted to it to flake up rather than go in chunks um little grace is watching me because she thinks she's going to get some chicken um because i've literally been putting a bit of meat in his food and he's just picking out the meat so i thought if i flake it down he'll have to eat the biscuits too i'm actually going to go to pets home today to grab some puppy food just because some of the puppies are getting a bit of upset stomach and I have been giving them like a special tablet the vet gave me but it don't seem to be working so I think it might be the food they said to change the food if the tablets haven't been working because they've been having the runs so um yeah I need to get them some food but I also need to go and get Mario some because he doesn't seem to be liking the food so I think he's turned into a bit of a slob because I think the vet um, where he was staying was giving him some nice biscuits so I'm going to give him a spoonful of his biscuits and half a cup of the puppies biscuits because the puppies ones have loads of like nutrients in loads of fat and he hasn't eaten for the last couple of days properly so I've got his biscuits and now I'm going to put in the chicken literally all of the puppies all the pugs are following me because they think they're going to get some chicken okay I'm going to put you down Hopefully you can see me all right. The lighting is a bit weird. And excuse like that spot. I don't know if you saw about that. I thought it was a spot. It ended up being like a insect bite or something. It got really badly infected and it's kind of scarred. The redness should go down, but it might leave a bit of scar. But there's nothing we can do about it. It has been getting me down a bit because it isn't like the most awkward spot 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 okay anyway so i'm just gonna add his chicken to his food and hopefully this will make him eat it so i'm just like mixing it all in trying to get it to the bottom because then he has to kind of like eat most of the biscuits to get to the chicken i think i flaked up pretty well let's see if this works okay so he's not really meant to be on tiled floor because he slips around a lot um, but he's starting to get much better on the tiled floor, which is a really good sign. Should we go in here? Okay, so everyone, back off. This is Mario's food. There you go, darling. No, wait, no. Fatty. Gosh, you keep doing that lately. Oh, yes, he's eating. I'm still going to go to Pets at Home and get him some better biscuits. Oh, look. He's definitely like what well, liking his food because he's telling them to go away. Okay, come on, girls, back off and leave him alone. That is his food, not yours. Is that yummy, Chunky? Yeah, is that yummy? Should we get the girls out so you can eat your food in peace? Yeah? Do you want me to hold you up a bit? Good boy. Mummy's got you. Sometimes when he starts eating, he gets excited because um, his front legs are a bit more stronger than his back legs. Um, they're literally, he's been doing handstands nearly, so I have to try and not let him do that because obviously his um, scar on his back. But we'll talk about that in a minute once he's finished eating his dinner and I'll tell you exactly what happened. So at the moment, um, Marrow's actually having to take six tablets a day um, to help him eat his tablets. I am wrap them in a little bit of peanut butter. This is safe for dogs. Um, I've made sure it's got no hydrogenated fat in as well. And that seems to help a lot. It goes down a treat. So you're probably all wanting to know what actually happened to little Chunky, to little Mario. 
Well, basically it started um, when some of the city was on. So I um, left Saturday morning and he was all fine. He was his jolly little self, eating his breakfast, running around playing, sleeping, farting, all the usual things that he does. And I left to go to some of the city and we had someone looking after the pugs. So it started with him like in the afternoon I think just not really doing much and it was quite quiet and then later on that evening he just wouldn't like eat his dinner he wasn't really doing much he was apparently just sitting in our utility room he wasn't even lying down he was just sitting there and he was sitting there for about a couple of hours just not doing anything until they brought him into the living room and he sat down and went to sleep and um, they thought it might just be like a upset stomach because the pugs now and then do get a bit of upset stomach and um, usually the vet will suggest to wait 24 to 48 hours before you bring them in. So they thought they'd wait until the next day. And the next morning he was fine. He bounced out of his cage. He ate his breakfast. So the following day on Sunday, um, he basically was back to his normal self. So they thought it was just like a little upset stomach. He ate his breakfast. He was playing, being his jolly little self, farting again and doing all the things like pugs do. And um, I came home that following like evening and um, he basically just went back to not eating his dinner. He was really quiet and I went to pick him up and he didn't quite like it. And he normally, like all of my pugs really trust me. And I just thought, oh my goodness, he must be like in pain or something. And I noticed his stomach was really bloated. It was like blown up like a balloon and it was rock hard. So I immediately was like, I need to take him to the vet. All the vets were closed because obviously it's a Sunday, so they do close early as well. So I had to take him to the emergency vet, which I did. When we um, took him there, they gave him an ejection to help with the stomach, so to help the bloating go down and hopefully help him like go to the toilet. They also gave him an ejection um, to help with like any like pain or any kind of like discomfort he had. She also done like a special test where she got his paw and bent it back and normally their reflex will flip it back but he didn't quite do that. So she said to take him to the vets the next day because that was something that we needed to get checked out because it can be like quite serious. So in the morning when he got out of his cage, he wasn't eating his breakfast again and I noticed that both of his legs had literally deteriorated overnight and both of them were basically not working and they were doing the same thing where they were both bent back and he wasn't flipping them forward um i rushed him to the vets they literally said bring him in straight away and we'll get him looked at um so i'm trying to think of the sort like what happened because it was such a long time ago now and so much has been going on since then i can't quite remember it so we then went to go in to see the vet and she done the same test where it didn't flip forward and he wasn't he literally just deteriorated again like he wasn't even walking on his back legs they were collapsed and he was wobbling all over the place i was literally in tears because it was just so horrible seeing like my little baby boy like that and like there was nothing i could do to help him so she gave him an injection to um basically make him like really sleepy and just really chilled and relaxed and we got to take him home and we had to figure out like what we were going to do. So we end up booking in for an MRI scan at this specialist like um, veterinary. It came back saying that he basically had a slipped disc. A slipped disc is where your tissue in between each of your disc spines basically just turned to mush. So they had to remove that. I'm not quite sure what they replaced it with. Um, but I can probably find out about that. I was just so happy that he's doing so well. And then he had to stay in the special doggy hospital for about five days. Um, we weren't allowed to go and visit him. I missed him so much. And he was probably thinking, oh my goodness, I'm not feeling very well. They've cut open my back, shaved all my fur off. And my mummy is like abandoned me. Um, but yeah, after five days, they said that he's basically starting to walk on his back legs again he's weeing on his own and he's doing so well so i got to take him home when he first saw me he didn't recognize me at first and then when i said his name he recognized me and he was just so excited i was just so happy to bring my little boy home
Brisson Art and you were so happy as well, weren't you, Junks? Um, I'll show you his scar so you can see a little bit like what was going on. So as you can see, he's been totally shaven like up his back. He looks like he's got a reverse Mohegan. And um, this is obviously where they cut him open to do the operation on his spine. His fur will hopefully grow back pretty quickly. Um, bless him. Like, they've cut your lovely fur, Maz. They cut your lovely coat off. Oh, he's really tired now. But as you can see, he's doing totally fine. I'm so happy with his progress. Like, I'm so super happy. And hopefully we'll get our little chunks to back running around being naughty like you normally are. But usually when I think I'm out and about, he's like running around being naughty. When I'm at home during the day, he's usually just sleeping, aren't you? Yeah? Uh, but yeah, I'm going to leave the video there, guys. I hope I did manage to explain properly what happened to him. I'm really sorry because I'm not good at explaining things. And this happened such a long time ago. Well, a couple of weeks ago now. And loads of stuff has been going on since then. I can't quite remember every detail. Um, but yeah, Chunky is doing well, and thank you for everyone that's been sending really kind messages asking me how Mario's doing. And yeah, so I love you guys, and so does the pugs. And I'll see you in the next video. Love you all, guys. Bye.